Weird seeing you stuck on your phone. What's got you acting like a teenager? Gaza. Oh. You got family there? No. Alhamdulillah. My father's side of the family came to America as refugees of the Iraq-Iran war, and my mother's came to America as refugees of the Russian invasion of Afghanistan, and then I was born here. Of course, they thought they were going to be free from persecution. That wasn't the case even before 9-11. And now with Hamas's attacks, hate crimes against Muslims have spiked again. A six-year-old boy named Wadia was killed in Illinois, stabbed to death because his family is Palestinian. Shit. Yeah, because obviously all 1.8 billion Muslims are all terrorists or terrorist sympathizers. And, you know, I feel you. I didn't know you were Jewish. Yeah, I lost my original necklace and had to order a new one. It just came in. I'm only fourth generation. My grandfather was pushed out of Scandinavia being, you know, a dragon, and ended up in Caliphate Spain, which was controlled by Muslims. Even though Christians and Jews had to pay, like, fines to practice their faith and had some other restrictions, they still got to practice peacefully, and Grandpa ended up shacking up in a Jewish neighborhood, which included my grandma, who was a dragon tasked with guarding the synagogue's treasures from thieves, because even in relatively nice governments, there were still assholes. My grandma's family were actually originally from France, but they got kicked out for being Jewish, so they moved to Caliphate, Spain, and, you know, this worked for, you know, them and my, for my parents for a few centuries until fucking Isabella and Ferdinand showed up and said, yeah, that whole religious diversity and tolerance thing that led to a golden age of culture, tech, and literature, yeah, we're not gonna do that anymore. Instead, we're gonna torture and execute everyone who isn't Catholic enough for us. Is that why your family came here? That is exactly why. My parents figured that an ocean would be big enough separation, moved here, had me and my sister, still had to deal with religious persecution because the Puritans were all dicks, fought in the revolution because life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, except it turns out that's only for some American citizens, and then we lose my grandparents and most of the rest of my family a couple of centuries later to a little mustache man with issues. And then, when we as a community finally get a country that is majority Jewish, where we're not only encouraged to practice our faith, but it's normalized, the government of that country decides that apartheid, forced evictions, and committing genocide is a fun pastime. Like, <laughs> like what size net do we need to catch a fucking break? And then, of course, when someone tries to point out Israel's abuses, we get accused of being an anti-Semite. Oh, you do? That sucks. Every time I see someone bring it up, half the responses are some variation of a shame Hitler didn't get all of them. <sighs> anyway, you mentioned hate crimes. Have you... I was told last week when I picked up my four-year-old that if I was going to be out in public, I should not wear my hijab because that's insensitive to the Jews that Hamas killed. And a few days later, my husband was yelled at on the street for wearing his thobe. If it hadn't been in public or daytime, it might have gotten physical. Shit. And this is why I hate terrorist groups like Hamas. Well, one of the reasons, besides the atrocities. Because they claim that they're doing this for the rights of Muslims, but they respond to Israel's persecutions in the worst way possible with the murder and rape of civilians, which not only leads directly to Israel killing an even higher number of Palestinian civilians through bombs, bullets, and starvation, they, they just hit a hospital and have been bombing Palestinians trying to get out of Gaza, but it also leads to backlash against other Muslims worldwide, even though we have nothing to do with it. I'm not nearly as worried about myself or my husband as I am about my children. My eldest is going to be going to in, in, into kindergarten next year. And while she doesn't wear a hijab, our religion is not a secret. What are the other students going to do to her? What's the teacher going to do to her? And that, of course, leads to more persecution against Muslims, which makes it easier for hate groups like Hamas to recruit young, angry people who want to fight back. Yeah, I've, I've seen it before. So has Bob and Cyrus. It, it never ends well. Yeah, I'll bet. And the worst part is that the vast majority of people killed are not the Israeli government officials giving these orders, or Hamas terrorists, but civilians. Men, women, and children who want nothing to do with this, on either side. That's who's getting hit. 
Yeah, at this point, it just feels like both sides are competing to see who can rack up the most human rights violations. And because the Israeli government has more resources and international support, they're the ones who keep winning. Yeah. Welcome to Cafe Latte. I just pulled these cookies out of the oven so they're nice and soft and warm for you. <laughs> Jack-o'-lanterns, ghosts, and gravestones? You're selling this stuff? Uh, yeah, it's October. Halloween is less than two weeks away. Here, you clearly need this. This is a Bible. And you should read it. No thanks! I left the church when they said that queer people burn in hell, which... Granted, it's going to sound pretty good in a couple of months when we're all freezing in a Minnesota winter, but, you know, it's still pretty traumatizing to a kid. Well, Christian or not, you should not perpetuate these pagan rituals. Uh, lady, you're standing in a cafe run by the fae. The boss is old enough that she popped in on a few Sunmean festivals back in the days. Sunmean Sunmean? I'm definitely saying that wrong. We literally hired a dragon and a demon last month. You are siding. With demons and the devil? Well, Cyrus did just make a trip down to hell to get some more essence of hellfire. That's a best line item even when it's not spooky season. I don't think we've gotten anything from the other side. Nah, they've never been into it. But Gabe showed up yesterday after you left and tried the heavenly latte and he liked it. I just want you to know that your days are numbered because we are taking over your pagan rituals. Halloween is being replaced with Jesus Wayne. Is that a real thing? Of course it's real. Instead of giving out candy to young, impressionable souls, we'll be giving out Bibles. And instead of trick-or-treating, my children will be going door-to-door -door dressed in white, spreading the word of God. Sure they will. Jesus ween? Jesus ween? Holy ween was right th This is why nobody likes you guys. Well, more heaven for me. I never understood people like that. Yeah, you're in Granny. You are such a lurker. <laughs> Sorry, baby. Even when I was growing up, some Christians grumbled about the holiday, but I always thought it was better to let the kids be kids in a safe environment. That's why my church is hosting a Halloween party this year. Like, an actual Halloween party? Or is it one of those Christianized haunted house things that says, this will happen to you in hell if you have premarital sex? Or lie? Or be queer? Oh, hell no. No, this is just a fun kids party. Apple Bob and Pumpkin carving some nice movies. See the Hocus Pocus or Nightmare Before Christmas this year. Later in the evening when the little ones go home, I think the teenagers are going to be playing some scarier games like a version of Hide and Seek, but it's Seek and Kill. They also get a scarier movie. I think it's something from that Conjuring series. Keep them from going out and getting drunk and dangerous, but they still have fun. See, that's the way to do it. So what'll you two be doing? Any fun college parties for you, JC? No, I, I did get some invites, but I'm not about to walk into one of those alcohol pits. I do have a party plan for me and my friends, but as for the day of Halloween, I'm gonna be fulfilling a lifetime goal of mine. I live in an apartment, so we don't really get trick-or-treaters, but Nicole has a house. Well, at her age, in this economy, it's a townhouse she rents. Oh, okay. Anyway, I'm gonna be crashing at her place and passing out candy. That's your lifetime goal? No, my lifetime goal is to be that house that gives out the full bars rather than just the minis. When I was a kid, that always made my night. Oh, that's precious. What about you, Cyrus? Okay, well, everyone knows that the boss and I are fairies. The neighborhood tradition is for kids to try to prank us without getting cursed. Yeah, Bob curses them. Don't stuff like itchy underwear for a week or that they'll be stuck doing their least favorite chore for the next few days or their hair will be pink for three days. You know, harmless stuff that still raises the stakes. Ah, uh, okay. Anyway, my job is to use a bit of glamour, a bit of sneaky sneaky, and then lie and wait until our prey comes to us, and then I either jump out and scare them, or I get them to tell me their names, because by now they're smart enough to wear masks and even, like, have some technology thing that muffles or changes their voices so we don't immediately recognize them. I Maybe mean, get some really fun banter going, I mean, it's great. It's fun. There's a group of senior high schoolers going off to college next year that have sworn to get us this year. I can't wait. <laughs> Children.
Hello, beautiful. Uh, um, uh, sorry, not you. My girlfriend. Hi. Oh, <laughs> I was about to say, um, although I must commend you on your taste of women. You want your usual, babe? Can you throw some espresso in there, please? It's been a long day. The kids were very loud. Yeah, they do that. Did you change your pen? Yep. Aw, now I'm the only bi. But you're bi? Bi-romantic. It just got the thing. Yeah, with most of my crushes being women. I thought I was bisexual for the longest time because, you know, zero sexual attraction across the board. It wasn't until asexuality became mainstream that I got the right pin. Oh, my friend did something similar. Who's me as pansexual? That's like your queer cousin. And, you know, Rethu also mentioned not having much preference in terms of gender so long as they're emotionally attached to someone. And we have no idea what Drek is. Yeah, but he could be a disappointing straight boy. Ouch! Kidding. So it did bring up the pin change. What's the definition of a lesbian? Uh, this feels like a trick question. A uh, simple answer is a woman attracted to other women, right? Same with sapphic. Yes, that's what'll come up in the first Google searches and many other websites, which is why I thought my attraction to NBs meant that I had to be bi. But the actual definition of a lesbian is a non-man attracted to non-men. Ah. So you were lesphobic? No, I was misinformed and ignorant on a subject that is not talked about in a nation that is actively persecuting queer people. It happens. I know a lot of lesphobes and transphobes who use that original it's women loving women definition to exclude NBs and trans women. It, well, that is not what's going on here, all right? It was an honest mistake that frankly most people don't even care about. I'm her significant other and non-binary and I didn't care. Mostly because I grew up with that exact same wrong definition of lesbianism as she did. That doesn't help that language and labels are constantly changing and something that we are literally making up as we go along. I mean, I was around when queer only meant weird and gay just meant happy, with no bearing on gender or sexuality at all. And the definition of bisexuality and how it differentiates from pan or omnisexuality has changed a dozen times in just the last, like, 40 years. And it's a different definition for every person or country or region. I mean, who can keep track of this shit? Maybe it's in that gay agenda we keep hearing about? I never did get the memo on that. Well, that's because the meetings are on Wednesday night. You never go. Well, of course not. That's D&D &D night. D&D &D night is sacred. Well, he makes a good point. Everyone knows you can just get the meeting notes off the website anyway. Alright guys, we got half an hour before close. Boss is handling the back of store cleanup. We just gotta clean up the front. Hang in there. Oh, why do I keep signing up for these 10-hour shifts? Because you're broke and you need money? Because you're a masochist who enjoys pain? Because Drek needed to take the day off to study for an exam and you're a good person? Ew, I'll have you know that I am a terrifying dragon that even the toughest gangs and mafias hesitate to fuck with. Sure you are, sweetie. JC, you still got that Halloween party next week? Yeah, we're gonna do it potluck style, since we've got a dozen people coming and half of them have dietary restrictions. But they're all different dietary restrictions. I mean, one is gluten-free, two are vegetarian, two other are lactose intolerant, there's a peanut allergy somewhere in there. I mean, I am gonna be serving some food, but potluck sounds smart. Who's near? You can come too. You and the hubby. But, um, maybe get a sitter for the kids, because there won't be any other humans running around. Can Muslims celebrate Halloween? I heard that you couldn't. You have stumbled upon a bit of a debate among the Euro and American Muslims. Celebrating non-Muslim or pagan rituals is not halal, neither is begging if you're financially stable, dressing up as evil spirits is frowned upon, and carving pumpkins purely for decorative purposes is wasteful. Of course, many Muslims, especially those of us born and raised in the U.S., argue that Halloween is so far removed from its pagan roots that it's no longer any type of religious holiday, but a celebration of sugar and play, and is thus completely harmless, especially if you incorporate the hijab and other Muslim codes of dress into your costume, which is just that, a costume, no different from what you wear for a play or theater production. This sounds weirdly similar to those anti-fun arguments that some of my more fundamentalist Christian relatives had. Yeah, crazy how many stubborn conservatives are all so similar to each other, huh? In any case, my mosque has found a way to celebrate Halloween in a more Muslim way. Oh, please tell me you're not doing an Islam version of Jesus-ween. What would that even be called? Mahamaween? Islamoween? 
Hijabowee, Trick or Canning. All the kids and adults, we can participate or chaperone, meet at the mosque and divide into teams. Each team is assigned a neighborhood and they knock on doors, but not to beg for candy. Instead, we ask for donations. There's a food shelf and women's shelter on our street that we work with all the time. And so we're going to collect candy box goods or hygiene products or even checks and cash donations. The group who brings back the most gets a bundle of gift cards from some of the local businesses. The game shop, the Wolver's Net, there's a Muslim-run boutique that sells some of the cutest scarves you've ever seen, and that dropped a $50 certificate on us. And of course, I asked Bob if she wanted to pitch in as well. They're getting a 50% coupon that extends to food, drink, and merch. And we appreciate that, Bob. So your kids are still getting candy. Oh, absolutely. But at that point, it's freely given away, not begged for, so it's all right. They get to improve their neighborhood, give back to humanity, have fun along the way. And this way, my four-year-old who loves Star Wars gets to be the cutest Princess Leia you ever saw. And I get to dress up my twins as pumpkins. Don't worry, JC, I won't bring them to your party, but I will bring pictures. Oh, you fucking better. That sounds adorable. That's my sister. You want to buy... Oh, of course, we don't have any customers. Hey, Emma, what's up? Now, you mentioned someone had a peanut allergy. Can they still be around nuts? Because all of that candy... Oh, yeah, he can be around peanuts. He just can't eat them. Oh, good. My husband's the same with seafood. I'll be sure to bring a few extra EpiPens just in case. Rafu, are you all right? No. Oh. Rafu, are you all right? Does it... And this is why I hate terrorist groups like Hamas. Trick or canning? One of the reasons, besides, is that why your family came here? Yeah, it's alright. I didn't know you were Jewish. It's just in the worst way possible, even though we have nothing to do with it. Yeah, I'll bet. Don't worry, GC. That's who's getting hit. In any case, my mosque has found a way to celebrate Halloween in a more Muslim way. Wasn't the case even before 9-11. And we appreciate that, Bob. Sure you are, sweetie. Because Drek needed to take the day off to study for an exam and you're a good person. Oh, absolutely. Can they still be around nuts? And I get to dress up my twins as pumpkins! But I will bring pictures. Alright, guys. We got half an hour before I close. I can't wait. Definitely run by the fay. Um, in this economy, see, that's the way to do it. The harmless stuff that still raises its face. Fear only meant weird, and yeah, I need to take a moment. Uh, now I'm gonna buy. Can Muslims celebrate Halloween? I heard that you could. Muhammad? Sun and Sun? Jesus we? Uh, what would that even be called? So. Your kids are still getting candy. Holy weed was right, it's great. Islam only? Kidding. Because you're a masochist who enjoys pain? Nah, they've never been anywhere. Jesus weed? We literally hired a dragon and a demon last month. That's your lifetime goal. Gay just meant happy. Did you change your pen? You could be a disappointed straight boy. Th this is why nobody likes you guys. Hang in there. Yeah, they do. That D&D &D night is sacred. What's the definition of a lesbian? Been a long day. No, I was misinformed. Can you throw some espresso in there, please? Hi. The kids were very loud. The definition of a lesbian is a non-man attracted to non-men. Maybe it's a men gay agenda that we keep hearing about. It happens. Yep. But they got kicked off for being Jewish. I'm only fourth generation. Weird seeing you stuck on your phone. Fucking Isabella and Ferdinand showed up. That sucks. You know, a dragon. What got you acting like a teenager? Shit. I was never still assholes. I'm not going to do that anymore. I've never well. Oh, you do? Hey, Emma, what's up? Puritans were all dicks. Yeah, I've, I've seen it before. 
That is exactly why. Potluck sounds smart. Yeah, at this point. Oh, instead, we're gonna torture and execute everyone who isn't Catholic enough. Ew, I'll have you know that I am a terrifying dragon that even the toughest gangs and mafias hesitate to fuck with. Get crazy how many stubborn conservatives are all so similar to each other, huh? That's my sister. Do you mind if I. Who stole your egg? Hello, beautiful! Dad, you're in Granny. Uh, yeah, it's October. Or be queer. Oh, you're bi? So it did bring up the pin change. Because you're broke and you need money. It's a townhouse, she writes. You never go. Yeah, we're gonna do a popular style. This will have happened to you in hell if you have premarital sex. Can't eat them. This feels like a trick question. Or lie. Sure they will. Uh, Sorry, not you. My girlfriend. Like, Halloween is less than two weeks away. Oh, you fucking better. That sounds adorable. Ah, uh, oh, okay. Is that a real thing? No thanks. Who's me as pansexual? That's like, your queer cousin. You are such a lurker. But, you know, it's still pretty traumatizing to a kid. And we have no idea what Drek is. This is a vibe. Yo, Bob curses them? It, well, that is not what's going on. I don't think we've gotten anything from the other side. Welcome to Cafe Latte. I always thought it was right to let the kids be kids in a safe environment. That's why my church is hosting a Halloween party this year. Apple Bob and Pumpkin carving some nice movies. They also get a scary movie. I think it's something from that Conjuring series. Keep them from getting out and getting drunk and dangerous, but they still have fun. Oh, that's precious. What about you, Cyrus? So what will you two be doing? Any fun college parties for you, Juicy? Later in the evening when the little ones go home, I think the teenagers are going to be playing some scary games like a version of hide and seek, but it's seek and kill. Oh, hell no. No, this is just a fun kids party. It's either Hocus Pocus or not before Christmas this year. <laughs> I never understood people like that. <laughs> Sorry, <babe. laughs> Children.